Yo, what's good? Welcome to another episode of the Secretary of Snake. I've captured this huge black ant. Okay. This thing is big. The pinchers on this thing is nothing to play with. Okay, I gave this guy the benefit of doubt. Alright. I ain't want to step on him and kill him. I got major respect for nature. I don't know if it can breathe all that well in this little box that a kid done dropped off here. Okay. Um, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Um, it was running all around the concrete. I was thinking this guy maybe wanted some, maybe wanted some water to drink. Uh, maybe wanted a you know, a piece of popcorn on the ground to eat or something. Throws a scavenger. Maybe a potato chip to drag back to his nest. I ain't wanted to get eaten by a bird, so I decided to keep him. Okay. This dude is a huge predator, man. He kept circling around my foot. I don't know what they want, what their intentions are, and why they're so damn attracted to me. This dude ain't no nothing to play with, man. So I'm giving this dude some mercy. I may let him loose in the grass. I think I should do that. Maybe he needs some help. I never even seen nothing like this in Columbus, Ohio, man. I ain't know we had ants this damn big here. I thought they were just real tiny and small, but this dude is freaking huge, man. And them pinchers are scary. I don't want to get bit by this dude at all. And there go some hungry birds ready to eat them right now. Trying to find them. Them things got an excuse to see what's going on and they can just fly away. But this dude here, he will not leave me alone. He will not leave me alone at all, man. And right now it's trying to find a way to escape. It's trying to bite the, the barrier that's in, that's surrounding them. Um... As I got older, man, I just, just got a kinder heart, man. Uh, back then, I would have just took my shoe right here and gave him a swift death. Okay? He would have been smashed to the ground. Or, he would have got smashed by these guys here. Playing tag, you're it. So, I hope... This dude can find life. He can find a mate and breed, and, and he's very beautiful. I don't know if there's a female nearby or if this is a female. I'm not real sure. I don't know a whole lot about these things. But um, I know that there's a scripture in the Bible, uh, Proverbs 6, the whole, uh, I think 6. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 through 9 or 12 says, Go to thou ant thou slugger and consider its ways, right? So these things can like lift objects perhaps five times its weight or more or five times its size. But I'm like a billion times the size of this thing. And I just got a heart to not kill this dude. You know what I'm saying? I actually got mercy for this thing and I feel bad for it. Because it's in a world filled with huge, giant titans that's ready to give this guy a swift death. So if you see any guys this huge, this big, find a container, a cup, and release it back to its natural habitat or wherever it belongs. But me personally, I've never seen something this huge in the state of Ohio and in the city of Columbus.
what do y'all think you know drop your comments your likes please subscribe to my channel um i just hope to god i don't run into scorpions i don't run into water bugs or any of that and i hope to god that this dude gets the fuck away from me like go away stay away attack humans are dangerous and they will kill you okay this is not a world where you are safe to roam anywhere you want to go without keeping your life okay so i hope it understands that i hope it it understands that anything that looked very bizarre and weird and it's super freaking huge and it's moving at tremendous speeds stay away okay these are beings on this planet that lives longer than you that's stronger than you and way bigger and faster than you i don't want to go nowhere near that these are gods walking amongst the earth. They have lifespans up to 50 and over. And you have a lifespan that's probably a year, if that. So, you see all this right here? This is where you wanna be. You wanna be around all this grass. And there's plenty of predators out there. Let me show you what bugs are supposed to go it ain't supposed to be at no spray park bugs are supposed to roam in areas where there are trash cans this is a huge place where anything can get dumped to be searched for food all right this parking lot is a good place to find food for a bug and I'm about to release this guy around whatever the hell those are. So if it finds its way towards me, it's dead meat. So it has a dirty diaper next to it. So I unleashed a package and he's about to go free. All right, there you go. Do not come, do not go nowhere near humans. We will kill you. Do you understand that? The thing is, it's fucking rebellious. It don't listen. I just released it to a pile of cookies and shit. If y'all think that shit's hilarious, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, out.